Hello everyone, welcome to Jinghua Education. I'm Steven. In this video, we're going to talk about the linear function to the part 1. Before we do that, so I want to add something. Okay, so after grade 9, when you get into grade 10s, you find the math is much harder. Why? Because there's one concept is introduced, function. Okay, so a lot of students confuse about function. Okay, they have done a lot of like math works. So like what is the 35 times 28? And then they can able to find out because these are numbers. Okay, when function introduced, there's not always number, sometimes letter involved. And then you don't know the number, letter is how much. That's the hard part. Okay, a lot of students is very vaguely understanding about, okay, what is functions? So what function do to me? Okay, so if you ever have that concerns, please go back to check my function videos, function tutorials. Okay, I have uh, like a four or five uh, episodes of the function tutorials. Just check that part out. Okay, that will help you a lot. Okay, after that, you will understand what is functions. What is the relation? Okay, what is the domain and the range? What the dot means? What's the line means? Why there's a graph? A lot of questions is answered in that videos. Okay, so please go back to check that part out if you ever want to know what is the functions. Okay, it will help you a lot in the long run. All right, so for now, let's do the linear function part. Linear function is the easiest function ever. Okay, so it only have two things. One is called slope and the one is called y-intercept. And that's it. We're going to talk about these things in the next several videos. All right, so in here, in the first part, we're going to talk about the slope of the line. What is the slope? The slope, just see how steep of the line is. Okay, so we can have a, a line like uh, uh, this. And then we can have a line like this. So obviously, this one slope is the higher than this one slope because this is more steep here. It's the increasing faster. Okay, that is means slope. Okay, so how do we actually find the slope? So we're using one measurement called rise over run. What means rise? That means in the certain times, how much the y increase over the x increase. We call them rise over run. Okay, so all you can think of these things, y2 minus y1. That means we got a two point here. Okay, you all know uh, two point can fix a line. Okay, so we got the second point, the y value minus the first point, the y values, divided by the second point, x value minus the first point, x value. The ratio is going to be a slope. Okay, so maybe just talking like that, you're confused. All right, so let's see your questions. Okay, so let's try to find out how much the slope of this line is. Okay, so we're just going to uh, find the two point. Okay, let's finding a point like there. This point, okay, here. See that? Okay, and then the other point, maybe we can use in here, this one. This point here. Okay, now we have two point. Okay, and then let's see from this is, uh, see, this is our point one. Okay, this is point two here. Point one, point two. Okay, I want to make these things a thicker. You can see better here. Point one and point two. Okay, after the point, like let's see what is x value of the point one. The point one is x value is zero. So this is how you see a x value here, right? X value is zero, and then y value is how much? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, that one is 7. Okay, 7 here. Okay, 0 and 7. Make sense? All right, the second part, second point is how much? Second point is this. So the x value just like just drop down. See this number, the y, x value here is 1, 2, right? 2. And then the y value is how much? It's just 1. See, this point is just 1 here, right? This is the y value here, x value here. So y value is 1. 
That means from point 1 to point 2, what is the run? That means what's the x change from 0 to 2? Just 2, right? So the, we can say the x2, this is x2, minus y, x1, so equal to 2 minus 0. Okay? On the top, so y value, y2 is 1. Y1 is a 7, which is 1 minus 7. Okay, so equal to negative 6 over 2, which is equal to negative 3. Now the slope just equal to negative 3. Okay, does it make sense the slope is negative value? Yes. Why? Because when x is increasing, y actually decreased. So when x increasing, y decreasing, we call them negative slope functions. Okay, so how do we quickly tell um, a negative slope functions? Okay, so if you like use a uh, right hand to take uh, eat food, to take uh, chopsticks, use your pants. If you like a right hand person, okay, lift your right hand, right arm. Okay, you see that shape? So this is U, okay, this is U, and then leave that one, so this is U facing this way, okay, and then that is your right arm, okay, your right arm is like that, this shape is the positive slope, okay, and the left arm is negative slope, see this one, like this left arm thing is negative slope, so if you see this one, it's like, like you know the left arms, so it is negative slope. That's how you quickly identify is the positive slope or negative slope. And then the rise over run is tell you how to find out each uh, slope is how much. Okay, let's see the next uh, page. Okay, so again, let's looking for um, slope here. Now, quickly tell me, what is what? This is things, it's a positive slope or negative slope. It's a positive, right? Why? Because it's the right arm, right? This is you, you facing this way, okay? So this is your right arm. Right arm lift, so which is this one, okay? Now we're looking for two points. One is in here, so they say one here, see this point here? Good. The other one is in here. So we're looking for the, we're trying to looking for the whole point, whole dot, okay? So sometimes like in here, you have really hard to know which is, how much is this? So we're looking for the exactly on the uh, coordinate. So that one is the two. So y is two, x is zero, right? So zero, two is my first point. The second point is, so here is be one, two, three, four. The so y is a four. And then one, two, three, x is three, so three, four here. And then we're using four minus two and three minus zero. So four minus two over three minus zero equal to two over three. That is our slope. Make sense? Okay, that's how to find slopes. Now this time is a positive. See, this is your right arm, right? Positive. All right, see next page here. Uh-oh, we have a line, it's a horizontal. What means horizontal? That means the run can be a lot. That means x can change a lot. So y never change, right? We can put in here, this point is how much? This point is, you know, uh, 0, 3, right? 0, 3. What about this point? This point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 3. Okay? So the rise over run, which is 3 minus 3 over 6 minus 0. So it means 3 minus 3 over 6 minus 0 equal to 0. That means the slope equal to 0. So slope is 0. Does it make sense? Yes. Uh, remember this. Horizontal line slope are always equal to 0. Okay? So that is the one of the identities. Remember this. If you see horizontal line, don't even try to finding a slope. The slope is automatically 0. Because run can be a lot, but rise cannot be anything, just always zero. So zero always anything is zero. Okay, the so last one, vertical line. So we have a vertical line. That means we got run can be nothing. The rise can be a lot, right? We're looking for a point here, which is, uh, that's how much? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, uh, 
a negative 6. This is 0, right? This is 0. That's negative 6. Negative 6, 0. And then as another point here. It's negative 6, 2. Okay? 2 minus 0, just 2 minus 0. Negative 6 minus negative 6. Oh, we have a problem here. We have denominator equal to 0. So we all know in mathematical world, denominator can never equal to 0. So that is wrong. Okay? That is impossible. So actually, we're looking for slope here, right? What means impossible? Impossible means the slope does not exist. Always say NA. There's no slope for vertical line. Just remember that for the vertical line, there is no slope. That's it. Okay? I hope you understand this. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will try to answer your question in my next video. Thank you for watching.